This is amyloid beta peptide by me, Caitlin Glazner. Throughout college, I was very interested in studying neuroscience and psychology, which applied directly to the amyloid beta peptide as it has many implications in neuronal death in Alzheimer's. Take a classic picture of a neuron. Neurons have to be able to produce action potentials in order to transmit information throughout the human body. However, this is made difficult through beta amyloid plaques that form and cause neuronal death. This death first occurs within the hippocampus of the brain, causing memory loss in Alzheimer's patients. However, how exactly does this occur? Let's find out. Picture here is a drawing of amyloid beta peptide, which is actually formed from the N terminal of amyloid precursor protein, or APP for short which is a membrane-spanning glycoprotein on chromosome 21. This peptide forms from an abnormal cleavage that we will go over later. As you can see, the peptide has two helixes connected with a kink. The first helix is well-defined, and the second is a transmembrane region of APP, which contains hydrophobic amino acids. 12 through 23 are dimers and or ligamers that serve as a self-recognition region. First 16 residues are hydrophobic. His 13 and his 14 are binding sites for Cu2 or copper, which is an important factor later in neuronal toxicity. Now take the phospholipid bilayer membrane of a neuron. On the left hand side, we'll be seeing the normal cleavage of APP. And on the right, we will see how amyloid beta peptide is able to cause plaques when there is an abnormal cleavage of APP. Starting off with the normal cleavage, APP, the green chest bluish structure, is broken by alpha seq trace, which causes amyloid beta peptide, the red structure, to stay attached to APP and not form plaques around the neurons. This might suggest a type of treatment for Alzheimer's patients. On the right side, the amyloid beta peptide is cleaved by beta secrase and gamma secrase. Gamma secrase has PSEN1 and PSEN2 mutations, which causes abnormal cleavage. In such that the amyloid beta peptides cleave off of APP. This allows these peptides to come together since amyloid beta peptides are chemically sticky. This causes major problems problems in and around the neuron, such as neurotoxicity and neural death that we will get into later in this presentation. Now let's go into what amyloid beta does to specific neuronal death. So this causes oxygen species, which is an increase in stress and inflammation, when this combines with copper, it causes an increase in hydrogen peroxide, which is caused in neuronal death. In the sense of vasculature, it causes stress, which also makes for mitochondria dysfunction. This also comes to injure DNA, which causes vascular constriction, which means there is an overall decrease of blood to the brain. Amyloid beta peptide also gets on endocrine walls, which causes lesions. This causes a decrease in calcium homeostasis and an increase in calcium in neurons. Tau is a protein that stabilizes microtubules. When an amyloid beta peptide is introduced, the dissociation of tau occurs and the axonal structure decreases. APO is involved in lipoprotein metabolism, which has a natural infinity for amyloid beta. This, however, causes recycling of amyloid beta to be produced from APP. ABAD also causes an increase in mitochondria dysfunction when connected to this peptide. Finally, this causes extra buildup of hydrogen peroxide. All these things are very important to know when looking for future treatments for Alzheimer's disease. Scientists are not sure if these plaques are caused after because of Alzheimer's or cause Alzheimer's symptoms specifically. Therefore, inhibiting APP and neuronal toxic effects are very important. To be able to do that, looking back at what we learned about how 
amyloid beta peptides are cleaved, they, you could be able to increase alpha-seq trace, which would cause, once again, the normal cleavage of these peptides. This would cause there not to be these plaques to be formed. You could also decrease tau, which is associated with microtubules. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you learned something.